Hello, welcome to Road CC. Uh, I am here with Mark Gravelin of Argon 18. And if you see the bike we have here uh, nestled underneath the bar, we have this fascinating little device here, which last year it was revealed for the first time under the name of uh, Smart Bike, and now it's evolved a little bit and it has become No Show Connect, right? Yeah. So yeah. So glad you saw it last year. You know, as we go through this, you realize that uh, you know, everything we said we were going to do last year, we've pretty well done. Uh, biggest changes being we went from the concept of an Argon smart bike to a smart device. Reason being we want to make this device available for any bike brand, not just the Argon. Uh, so much so the product technology spun off into a company called Nocio Connect and we're at nocioconnect.com. Cool. And, uh what does it do, if you don't mind me asking? Why is it, why, why do I need this? <laughs> okay, well, uh, there are a lot of reasons different people would want this. So maybe what I'll just go through what the product does, and I'm sure multiple people will find, you know, something that, that, that attracts them. So we kind of broken it up into sensor families. So there's eight sensor families. First sensor family isn't too exciting. It's traditional sensors power meter, speed, cadence sensors, uh, and while everybody is doing that, they are at the core of most of the calculations and data presentation we're gonna do. Second family, one of the one that's probably making the most noise is about aerodynamics. It's our aerodynamic sensors. So what the device allows you to do is get a number, which is called the CDA, in real time as you're riding. So CDA is your coefficient of aerodynamic drag. It's basically a number between, let's say, uh, 0.19 and 0.5 and how aerodynamic you are. It's basically the number if you went to a wind tunnel to get yourself measured for aerodynamics, they would give you a CDA, okay? The only difference being that you can now get it on the road, just riding, windy, hilly conditions, whatever you want. So, so I'm getting live bike fitting as I'm riding my bike. So you're getting, you're getting how aerodynamic you are live as you're riding your bike. Yeah, so if you drop your head, your CDA is gonna go down. You raise your head, your CDA is gonna go up. You sit up, of course, it's gonna go way up. So right. if you stop, put on a baggy jersey, it's gonna, it's gonna get worse. And so you can, you can experiment with all kinds of things to improve your aerodynamic. And does it work in, it works in conjunction with other GPS devices, I'd imagine? Yeah, so, so there's a couple of things. Uh, one, it works with head units so that you can actually display uh, your aerodynamic drag as you're riding. So that's one. But it also requires some of those traditional sensors that I mentioned, the power speed. Uh, it requires those sensors in order to do the calculation of aerodynamic drag. Okay, good. And uh, so this will be available, when, when are you thinking of actually making the product available to the public? So there's going to be a gradual introduction to the market, you know, we're still relatively small, we can't, you know, there's huge, huge, huge demand for this thing, so we're going to gradually release it, it's going to start towards the end of the year, into the beginning of next year. Right, and I know you've been working with uh, some pro teams to develop it, so... Uh, yeah. 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 It, it was Astana, Astana. Right? Yeah. that's correct. Yeah, yeah, so so we, started, uh, we started discussions with Astana. Astana was at Eurobike last year, started discussions with them then. We were, we've gone to several of their training camps, been working with them. Uh, we're, I was at, personally at their training camp in uh, Valencia, Spain in December, did some testing there, and we tested this summer at the Tour de France with them. Great. So, yeah. So, uh, in terms of like usability, how is is it literally the the, the drag efficient? It is, it is literally between this number, the X number, and X number. So, That's will right. everyone be able be able to interpret that data? Is it as easy as saying this is how many watts I need to keep to? Uh, so, it will be the same principle with the drag. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, we actually have we have two tools for analyzing the data. One more for the experienced data geek that wants them to go to deep analysis of the data. The other, a very simple to use interface. And that's basically gonna show you what your aerodynamic drag is. It's gonna show you what a best, you know, you know, top athlete would be, what a rather poor CDA would be. It's gonna show you where you are. It's gonna show you how to improve it. And it's gonna show you what you're gonna get in miles per hour, kilometers per hour, if you improve your CDA for the same wattage. Okay. Well, it sounds absolutely fascinating, and I can't yeah. wait to have a go on it, yeah. <laughs> to be honest. So uh, yeah. I look forward to it being available uh, yeah. very soon. So thanks for watching. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. You're very welcome. Uh, I'll see you next time.